Hey you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do now is set up a domain on the uh, Webuzo control panel and we're going to do it at Vulture. Uh, and by the way, I'm running CentOS 7. Okay. Oh, so the first thing we need to do, we need the IP address now, you guys, these domains really don't mean anything. I'm it just don't pay attention. Some of them have links. I'm just using them for right now. Okay, so let's copy our IP address. Click on servers. Then we need to go to DNS. We need to add a domain. Now, you guys. I just got this domain again. I don't care about it. Um, I'm not not really associated with it. But it has some links. It's useful for SEO, so I picked it up. Put in my IP address. Let's add an A record. Put in, the I, put in the IP address for the value. Okay. So, now earlier I set up this... Uh, in the previous video we installed the control panel. Uh, you can see here that... Uh, I've got it installed here, 144.202. Okay, 144202. Now remember, you're going to have two, you've got here, here's my IP address, then look at the port. 2002, you see? And 2004. Okay, they're different. We'll deal with the licensing later, as well as Let's Encrypt SSL certificates in the other, in another video, I'll deal with that. That's very important, right? But we're just going to get the basic domain set up here. Click on Add Domain. Okay. Okay, don't put your IP address in there. And don't click this yet because we don't have the licensed version yet. I haven't put in a license key. So remember, if you don't have your license key, um, you cannot add SSL certificates. Again, you cannot add SSL certificates um, if you don't have a licensed version. Well, you can't use Let's Encrypt, right? You can't use Let's Encrypt, but in another video, we're going to deal with Let's Encrypt, okay? Oh, also, you guys, remember, at the very start here, uh, here are my name servers set to Vulture, right? You, these, this needs to be here at Namecheap. Um, I'm using custom DNS. So let's say we do this. Uh, you'll say you want to change it. There will be a check that goes here. You see this? You're going to need to hit that to save it. I don't want to save it. Right? Now we're going to do this. I just want to check here. Just a moment. Oh, wait a minute. But let's go over to File Manager. You can see that it's probably already showing up. Yeah, so you can see, boom, success. But what we can do here, so there's the name. When I installed the control panel here, you, well, we'll deal with it later. At any rate, there's, there we go. So we set up our domain, and next we're going to, next we are going to, 
install an SSL certificate. So we're going to need to buy our license for two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents, U.S. dollars. Okay, so we'll do that in the next video.